video number two, choosing which size flange bushing kit you need. This video is to help you figure out what size bushing you need for doing your own arms with one of our row kits. If you have a Kinsey, a White, a Case IH, or a Precision Ready row unit, there's no choice to be made. These all use the 1 and 1 16th inch OD flange bushing in the arms. Anyone with a John Deere planter wanting to fix their own arms, we suggest taking the arms off the two outside end rows to measure the widest part of the worn hole. If the widest measurement is less than 1.125, you would order our 1 8 inch flange bushing kits. If the widest measurement is over 1.125 and under 1.184, you would order our 1 and 3 16 inch flange bushing kits. If your arms are worn past an inch and 3 16 you can use the larger inch and 3 16 bushing and fill in the gaps around your bushing with JB Weld or replace the arms. Which kit is required? On Case IH planters, all use the same kit. On Kinsey planters, we have rear row units for both the 2000 and 3000 series, along with push rows for each. On the John Deere kits, they come in what we call box or mini hopper kits, and then we have a kit for the 7000 series. The 7000 series will have hoppers with a small metal hook that attaches to a thin 7 8 OD bushing mounted on the inside of the top parallel arms. The 1700 series planters will be a box planter kit if it has boxes with large metal hooks, plastic hooks, or precision meters that mount to the large disc used on box planters. Or it, it would be a mini hopper kit if using the OEM bushing for John Deere mini hoppers or precision meters. We will get started with this row unit in our next video.